Um, content strategy and content mix. Okay, so to talk about content strategy and content mix, the best way to do this is to show you a graphic that I got on my phone actually coincidentally today that I decided that ah, this is actually a really good uh, graphic to show you. So let's do this. So I'm going to open three images. I'm going to put them on screen. Oh, there's my CSV. Let's download that to my machine. And I'm going to sort of minimize uh, this. So I'm going to open three images and um, what they are, are screenshots from my phone actually today at two, two, two o'clock roughly. Um, and this is basically YouTube sends you these, um, uh, what do I call these? It sends you kind of alerts and then it tells you how your channel performed that week. And this was actually a hint that it dropped on my, on my channel. So I'll actually show you the video I took of the screen recording. And uh, can I get can I get it to loop? Um, uh, quick time player file. Can I get it to loop? No, I can't get it to loop. So we'll just hit play a few times. So this is basically the graphic. So it basically says, look, um, this is your content we consider as part of a hub. So this keeps familiar viewers happy and coming back. The new features videos, and then if we go to the next type of video. Um, help like content. So Tableau Desktop Crash Course, that's a very um, sort of good group of content. And another one here could be seen as the scatterplot video, which I'd shown you. Yeah. And then the next one after that is what I call the hero videos. This I call these whales, but YouTube calls these hero videos, popular topics with big appeal. So these ones are the ones that really reach a big audience, really go out there and draw people into your channel, right? So those are the three general sort of frameworks for videos. I, I have traditionally only really been making hub videos and help videos. Um, this year, I didn't really make any hero videos at all. They just take too much time. As I explained, I didn't have the time. So um, super, super, super difficult to make. But um, nonetheless, it's kind of interesting um, because it, what YouTube wants you to do is to balance these and kind of schedule them. Um, so. It's basically saying, hey, help content is really working for you. Um, you know, go and focus on Hub and Hero, basically. So how can you complement these types of videos with the other two types? So I'm known for help content, and it's basically saying, hey, go check out um, these other videos, and so here's some, here's some strategies. And so that's actually very much how I, I look at it. Now, content on my side is done in Notion. I can't really show you that because there's some uh, confidential stuff in there about stuff I can't share. And I haven't really checked with various people to see if I can actually share stuff with them. So I won't share that in there. Um, but none to say, I have about like 300 videos, like penciled, penciled in. Uh, that's no joke. 300 videos as a list in Notion. It's a table with a with a with with basically a title. And most people start with a title. Then they go to the thumbnail. Then they actually make the video. I tend to start with a title. I make the video, then I decide a thumbnail, essentially, after making the video. It's a bit of a backwards process compared to other YouTubers, but that's just the way it is. Um, and the big thing for next year is ideally just slowing down on the quantity and really ramping up the quality. So um, if I was to sort of put myself on a slider, I am going to be sort of making the usual, hey, this is what's new in Tableau videos. But on top of that, I also want to start making the 30 minute, 40 minute, one hour long crash courses that I did really, really well at the beginning of this year. So, you know, beginning of 24, we'll do a Tableau prep crash course. We'll do a Tableau cloud and server crash course. And then we'll make our way through the smaller parts of the product. So we'll do something like a calculations crash course. We'll do something like a charting crash course. And um, we'll try and build out these, um, let's say, more instructive videos. And the reason is, is because I can really, you know, plan my way around those. And, you know, the work around that can happen irrespective of what hurdles sort of come my way. Because all I need to do is find a four hour window to record that in one sitting. And then the editing can happen irrespective of whether I'm ill or whatever's happening. And so I wanna get into a cadence where I've maybe recorded three or four of these ahead of time. Maybe I spend a weekend recording three of them. Then I edit them over the course of two months and I release them on a, on a, on a like a more casual cadence interspersed with some of these um, more frequent, here's what's new Tableau videos. So that's, that's essentially my game plan for the year. I think that's gonna work pretty well. 
Um, I want to try and collaborate with more people. I want to do more stuff like this. I think this kind of content is really fun. Take up sections of the videos and just put them out and, and see how that works. Um, but nonetheless, um, I, I, it's just really tough to kind of get this. Bearing in mind, I still work full time. Still, still father of two. Um, and there's, there's so much going on in life. This is, again, something I only do between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m when I have the time. So I kind of have to live within those parameters as much as I can.